Hello everybody, um, this is Janice. I'm on here because uh, I would like to share my vision with you that I've gotten from um, from the Lord. I've never done anything like this before, so this is my first video. Um, I kind of held on to it a little too long, I feel. Um, the Lord gave me this vision uh, almost a month ago. It was December 5th to be exact. Um, and uh, it was pretty heavy. It was pretty heavy. Um, I had a visit from the Lord, from Jesus. Um, I seen uh, a bright light, and um, Jesus was holding my left hand. And we was walking, and we are walking like in two, um, just a really, like a huge light. We were walking into a light. And um, I remember trying to glance up to look at Jesus, uh, but I couldn't look at him. I couldn't stare at him because he was—he was just—he was, just, was way too bright. He was just real, real, real bright. Um, but anyways, he was holding my hand. He was holding my left hand, and we're walking. And um, he said to me, "Tell my people I'm coming back." He said, "My heart is grieved. So many are drawn away by their own lustful desires. But tell my people I'm coming back." And I remember Jesus when he was saying that he was um, he was sad. He was really really sad. Um, I was able to feel exactly how sad he was. Um, I don't know how I was able to feel, but I was able to feel how sad he was, and it made me want to cry. He wasn't excited, you know, like maybe because I'd always thought like, oh, you know, I can't wait till Jesus come back. Um, you know, it's just gonna be everything when he come back. And um he wasn't excited to come. He was he was hard he was heartbroken, he was grieved. And he said, Tell my people I'm coming back, my heart is grieved because so many people are drawn away by their own lustful desires. Um, but tell my people I'm coming back. And um he told me to tell his people, he said, to turn back to him now before it's too late. He said, repent from your evil ways. He said, I'm coming back. He said, so many are not ready, and that's why I've delayed. But many more will fall away if I don't come back soon. And then he looked at me, and he told me, he says, he said, he said, don't lose heart. He said, Do, he said don't lose heart. Stand firm, my child. The end is here. And then the last words he said to me before he left was, um, warn my people, just like in 2015. And then um, the reason I say it was a vision, because I've had dreams, quite a bit of dreams before, um, but I wasn't asleep. I, I wasn't asleep when I had this vision. I, w I wasn't asleep at all. Um, but I, I had this whole full blown out experience. I don't, I don't even know how to, um, I don't know. I just know it's real. I just know it's real. And I know I needed to get on here to share this with everybody. Um, and he told me, he said, warn his people just like in 2015. So just to kind of let y'all know the little story behind this, my birthday was on, uh, my birthday was the day before I had this vision and I had started to take sick when I had got this vision I, he told me to warn his people. I noticed when I had woke, I, uh, I noticed that like later on, I, I didn't have a voice. I, I my voice was completely gone, like wiped. I couldn't whisper. I couldn't do anything. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I couldn't speak. And so I'm like, how can I warn his people? How can I warn warn his people? Because I know I don't want that blood on my hand. I mean, I've watched several um, YouTube videos before, and you know. When the Lord tell you to do something, you have to do it. You just have to do it. You just have to. And um, I just told myself, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to write this down. I'm a, I have to write it down. Um, before I write it, before I wrote it down, I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm going crazy. I, maybe I'm, you know, I think I'm losing my mind. Maybe, maybe I didn't just experience this. Maybe I didn't experience it because it was new for me. And so um, then I, I remember saying or thinking to myself because I couldn't speak I was like you know what maybe this is the Holy Spirit maybe this is the Holy Spirit like what I hear people talk about like it's got to be the Holy Spirit 
And then I heard a voice. I'm sitting in my bed. I'm awake. I'm not asleep at all. I'm sitting in my bed and I heard a voice say to me, it is not I, but him. It is not I, but him or he, one of the, one of the two. And I remember I started crying. I started crying. Even though I didn't have a voice, I started crying. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I was like, oh my goodness, I just heard a voice. I just heard a voice. And that was confirmation. And that had to have been, I know that was the Holy Spirit that was letting me know, no, the encounter you had was with Jesus, you know. And um, then I was just like, okay, let me write this stuff down. So I started writing this stuff down on the paper right here because I had it in my bed. I'm like, okay, let me just keep some there because I was already feeling something in the spirit anyway. And so when I wrote it down, I had uh, took a picture of it and sent it to uh, a couple of my sisters because I was like, I, I needed to tell somebody. I had to tell somebody. Uh, so, and I knew I couldn't talk. So I just took a picture of it and sent it to them, you know, and they was like, oh, praise God, you know. Um, and then when I started to reread what I wrote, I noticed that, um, his last words to me was warn my people just like in 2015. And then I was like, I don't know what happened in 2015. What happened in 2015? Like did something, you know, huge happen in 2015 and around the world. And I didn't know I, I was left out for some reason. I don't know, but I was trying to figure out what happened in 2015. And then I, I, I instantly was like extremely overwhelmed so I was just like, you know what, I have, I don't have a clue what happened in 2015, so I'm not even going to worry about it. So then I just kind of went into prayer, and then I was just like, you know what, Lord, I don't know what you meant. I don't know what you mean when you said warn your people like in 2015. I don't, I don't have any idea. I was like, but you know, I just pray, you know, and I know that you will show me, um, tell me somehow, you know, what happened so that I can, I can be obedient. And so I, I kind of left that alone that day, and... Um, went back to sleep or ended up going to sleep later on that day. Um, but the next day I had to pick up my son from school. And while I was waiting for his school to let out, um, I was in the car and I was just on my cell phone, just kind of looking up different stuff because I had already been feeling in the Holy with the, I've been feeling in my spirit, uh, to prepare, 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 prepare. And I'm like, prepare for what, you know, and this is like probably like a couple of weeks prior to this vision. And, um, I'm like, I need to prepare. So I, started, I went to prayer and I asked God, what should I prepare for? And then I heard, uh, water bottles, um, canned goods, um, flashlights, lamps, candles and stuff like that, like oil lamps. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I kept procrastinating, you know, kept putting it off, putting it off. But then I eventually, after the Holy Spirit told me one day, you know, you need to stop procrastinating. So I was like, okay, well, let me go to the store and get all this stuff. But as I start to shop and, and gather all this stuff, you know, I'm human. So I, I was thinking, you know what? I am spending, I'm spending quite a few money on this preparation and I don't really know what I'm preparing for. Um, so let me read this Bible again and figure out what is it that could possibly need, you know, cause me to need this type of preparation. So, um, anyway, so I'm like started reading and then I started talking to some people and then started hearing about the three days of darkness. And I'm like, okay, well, hmm. Well, I wonder if the three days of darkness or this darkness period, is it supposed to take place before or after the rapture? Cause I'm thinking to myself, I want to be raptured. I'm going to be raptured. So if this darkness is going to come, um, after the rapture, then I think I might be wasting my time with spending, with spending my money trying to ball and stuff. But anyway, so I'm Googling it in my, in my car. And I'm like, it's a, according to the Bible, is a, the three days of darkness supposed to be before or after the rapture? And um, But what popped up was this uh, prophecy. And I can't remember the name of it, but when I make my next video, I'm going to go ahead and put it up for you. Um, but I this prophecy came up and it was this guy and he had a message from the, from God and the Lord was telling him to uh, warn his people um, and let them know to store up for themselves uh, canned goods, bottles of waters and the, some, a lot of the similar stuff to like what I had just said. And, um, and I was thinking it caught my eye. It was real interesting. I was like, you know what? Oh my goodness. 
the Holy Spirit told me to do the exact same stuff too. And I was like, oh my, you know, so I just kept reading, scrolling down and reading. And then when I got down, I mean, it said just so much stuff. Um, and so it was confirmation for me. Um, and then when I scrolled all the way down, I looked at the, um, the date on it and it was, um, the date was April 1st of 2015. So then I'm like, okay, Lord, okay, Lord, is this what you're talking about? Like you're talking about warning, you, tell your people to do the same stuff because this was, you know, you visited this man in this year, the same year that you told me to warn your people about. So I was just like, you know, for me that, that was, that was, it was heavy. Cause I'm like, I've never, I've never had any type of vision or even a dream for that matter of Jesus, you know? So for me to be walking with Jesus and him holding my hand. And he told me these things and his heart was so grieved. He was so, so sad. Um, if y'all can just know or felt, feel what I felt when he was telling me this stuff, it'll make you cry. It will. It will make you cry. And, you, and I know it's real. I know it's real. Um, so I needed to get that out so that I can tell everybody, um, you know, Jesus is coming back. He's coming back and he's reaching out to so many different people um, throughout the world because I've seen, you know, quite a few people's YouTube videos um, and he has a way of reaching out to people. Um, so if you haven't already accepted Jesus Christ into your heart and your life, just ask him right now. Um, ask him to come into your heart. Um, a lot of people think that they got to clean themselves up before, you know, before they decide to get right. But um, Jesus will come and he will you know, send his Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit will dwell in you and the Holy Spirit will lead you into all things in all truth. Um, so just repent of your ways, turn away from them, um, um, confess it to the Lord. If you're struggling with anything, ask him to help you with all of those things and he will, but I know he's coming back soon and, um, we need to be ready. So God bless you.